NPK Fertilizer Explained. Do you find yourself overwhelmed by the variety of commercially available fertilizers? I do. But if we break down the different components of fertilizers, how they benefit plants, and how to understand the labels, it might be a little less intimidating. Nutrients can basically be divided into two main parts, macronutrients and micronutrients. Plants require a larger amount of the macronutrients while they require smaller amounts of the micronutrients. The three main macronutrients needed by plants are nitrogen, represented by N, phosphorus, represented by P, and potassium, represented by K. These are represented by the MPK listings on commercially bought fertilizer. Calcium, magnesium, and sulfur are also important macronutrients necessary for healthy plants. Iron, manganese, copper, zinc, boron, and chlorine are some of the important micronutrients for healthy plants as well. Commercial fertilizers can be either straight or mixed. Straight fertilizers contain only one nutrient, while mixed contain multiple nutrients. Complete fertilizers contain all three of the main macronutrients, the NPK, as we discussed earlier. You can tell which is right for you by properly reading the bag. You should see a list of three numbers. This is the ratio of the three main macronutrients, percentage by weight of the container. The first number represents nitrogen, the second phosphorus, and finally the third potassium. If the numbers are followed by a number in brackets, that indicates the percentage of the combined macronutrients in the bag. For example, if the bracketed number is 18, then there are 180 grams of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium combined in one kilogram of the bag, while the remaining weight is made up of a combination of secondary macronutrients, trace micronutrients, and fillers. Let's talk a little bit in more detail of these macronutrients. Nitrogen stimulates green growth, therefore nitrogen-rich fertilizer will work best when you want to encourage overall growth. A nitrogen deficiency may be evident in yellowed leaves and or stunted growth. In most cases, the more leaves a plant produces, the higher its nitrogen requirement. Phosphorus is important for root growth and seed germination. The pH of the soil will affect the availability of phosphorus to plants. So it is worthwhile to test the pH of your soil if you notice any phosphorus deficiencies. Dark green and or purplish leaves and stems similarly looking to bruises may indicate a phosphorus deficiency. Finally, potassium encourages flower development and overall plant health, as well as aiding in disease resistance. Misshaped or absent flowers or fruit may indicate a potassium deficiency. If you have further questions on understanding fertilizers and their labels, feel free to leave me a question in the comments section of this video. Thank you for watching.